Hey guys, Savannah Bell here with My Massage World. And in this week's video, I wanted to talk to you about the importance of Facebook advertising and the six steps to creating a great Facebook ad. So I've talked a little bit before about using Facebook to market your massage practice, but let's get specific here now and talk about ads. Some people would say Facebook is dead, but I seriously disagree. While organic reach, you know, the kind you don't have to pay for. Yes, those numbers have declined dramatically over the last couple of years, but ads are still working great. Now, I've heard some people argue that Facebook ads don't work or they're not worth the money or whatever, but I think in all honesty, a big part of why they don't work for some people is because they're not doing them well. They throw out one or maybe even a few random ads. They target everyone within a 50 mile radius and then wonder why they didn't get much, if any, return. But when done correctly, when thoroughly thought out, planned, and implemented, very rarely do Facebook ads not work. But there is a learning curve to it, and it's important, just like with any other marketing tactic that you might try for your business, to give it time. There is a lot of trial and error to this. It's not something you just throw together and bam, have clients knocking down your door. You'll need to try different tactics. Test and retest. I can't give you the exact photo and copy you should use or any of that stuff to guarantee you get clients. It's going to greatly depend on a number of factors, including your niche, your target audience, your brand, your offer, and so much more. But what I can do in this short video is give you these six steps to putting together a great ad. And remember, these are in this order for a reason. People, people often start putting together an ad and skip around, so to speak. So be sure that you're following this order. Number one, identify your goal. This may seem obvious, but all too often business owners are just randomly throwing out ads and hoping something sticks. You have to start with a specific goal in mind or the ads you put your hard earned money into will just be a hodgepodge of randomness that doesn't really speak to your audience and it doesn't actually deliver the results that you want. So before you do anything else, before you start thinking about what kind of pretty graphic you're going to use or what catchy phrasing you think will work, First and foremost, think of the goal. Is it to get a few clients just to fill some empty space in your schedule this week? Is it to educate and capture the attention of people who have never heard of your business so that they're going to follow your page and you can continue to offer value to one day move them into paying clients? Is it to get in front of your email list on a different platform so those who don't open your emails will still see an offer and book an appointment? Sit down and really think about this. What's the goal of this ad? Number two, identify your audience. Now, once you figure out what your goal is, you can then identify who it is that will help you reach that goal. One of the cornerstones of this concept is determining if you want to reach out to a cold, warm, or hot audience. So let's break that down first. A cold audience includes anyone who has not heard of your business before. A warm audience includes those who have heard of and are from somewhat familiar with your business, but they haven't yet booked with you. Maybe they've checked out your website before, you know, they maybe downloaded something that you offer or they signed up for your email list, but they haven't quite converted into a paying client just yet. A hot audience includes those who have come in for an appointment at some point. It's really hard to immediately sell to a cold audience. They don't know you or trust you. And the idea that they would immediately hand over their hard earned money because you threw a pretty picture in front of them is pretty naive. Cold audiences, um, they do best when you have a plan in place to warm them up. So you would usually send that type of audience to a blog post, a video, any sort of educational material, things like that. Warm audiences can be pitched to, but offering value at the same time or as a single in-between, reminding them how much you can help, is also crucial. Those that are part of a hot audience, those who've been clients before, pitch away. Those are the ones you can far more easily sell to and see a great return. When it comes to picking the audience that you want to get your ad in front of, Facebook lets you get really detailed. You can upload your own email list, target your latest website visitors, choose interest in other businesses they would like, which is really helpful for those who are targeting a niche. There's really a ton you can do with this. And I also think that's why a lot of people mess up. You can't just look at throwing your ad in front of every single person in a 20 mile radius or whatever. You need to fine tune your target audience to be very specific so that you're spending your money wisely. Number three, choose your offer. So based on your goal and your audience, what would they be looking for? This is often where people start and I think that's often why their ads don't work. Now, now that you have your goal in mind and you know who you need to get your ad in front of, now you can think about things from their perspective and see what they would actually want to see from you. Again, think about the type of audience you're getting in front of. Let's say your goal is to transform a cold audience to a warm audience so you can eventually get them to book. 
and you want to focus on those who experience frequent headaches because maybe that's something you, you know, treat regularly. You could run an ad that's a video educating them on you know, four stretches to get rid of a headache that then directs them to book a free consultation with you. Make sense? Number four, develop a graphic or video. So based on this offer, now you can play, piece together a design, you know, that beautiful graphic or develop that promotional video that is going to serve as the highlight of your ad. The key here is that whatever image they see when they're scrolling through the vastness that is Facebook's newsfeed, it needs to grab their attention and make them stop. Some cheesy stock photo isn't going to do it. A great photo with some large print that speaks to them, that sums up their problem or the solution that you offer. That is what is going to grab their attention enough to stop and look further. So that graphic or video needs to be amazing. It's their first impression on the ad and greatly influences how effective it's going to be because if you can't get them to stop and read your offer, they sure aren't going to convert in any way. But remember, even though this is a crucial part, if you don't center this around your goal, your audience, and your offer, it's useless. Number five, copy. The copy you use, the text within the post, is something a lot of people struggle with. First and foremost, it has to tie right into that graphic, speak to the exact audience you're targeting, and then lead right into the offer, ultimately helping you achieve your goal. A video I did recently on copywriting will probably help, so you'll definitely want to check it out. I'll link to it in the description. Remember, once you grab their attention with a graphic or video, you still have to follow that up with a great pitch for whatever the offer is. And you do that by using your words effectively. Number six, decide the cost. You do not have to spend a ton of money on Facebook ads. I've never spent more than $10 a day and usually run an ad for no more than two weeks at a time. Now, some people might argue with that strategy, but it works for me. You can go as little as $5 a day, and it could be for just a few days or a few weeks or something that goes on and on indefinitely. You have complete control. I usually recommend starting at just $5 a day for about a week. You'll do this, check all your analytics and results, tweak a few things, and run it again to see if those tweaks helped or hurt your results. Again, there is not a black and white formula because every business is different. So you're going to have to spend a little to test this out. It will pay off. It still beats the heck out of most forms of advertising when you consider cost versus return. Now, a lot of people, once their ad is published, <laughs> will watch the results like a hawk, but do not stress yourself out. Keep in mind that it seems to take 24 to 48 hours for Facebook's ad algorithm to really get going at its peak and report back accurate numbers. So give it time. Also, your return on your investment might not be immediate. Don't get discouraged. Remember, you may be using this ad to get you know cold audience to become a warm audience. I do that all the time and it works great. It takes a bit longer to see monetary results, but when done correctly, it can do wonders for your business in the long run. Now get out there and start making some Facebook ads. It really is a fantastic way to advertise. Just use these six steps to make sure you are building an effective ad. For more tips on Facebook ads, be sure to join the My Massage World Facebook group where we're spending all week discussing it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, check us out at MyMassageWorld.com, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and stay tuned for more videos. There's a new one every week.